Hello there, welcome back to Let's Play uh, Five Days a Stranger. Back from where we left off, we heard there was a smash somewhere. So let's go find the smash. I don't know why I'm speaking in this voice. Okay, so let's go and find what happened, which is this way, strangely. Okay, let's go check the telly, actually, because this segment would have been a, sh would be a, sh will be a short one, anyway. This morning, in other news, Michael finds out of in his office. Okay, solicitor's dead. Mr. Cheeson was found to have hanged himself, and the ruling of suicide has already been declared. This is the latest in a recent string of deaths and disappearances connected to the mysterious Defoe Manor. A string which began with the murder-suicide of Sir Clarence Defoe and his young wife and has seen more recently the disappearance of BBC reporter Simone Taylor. Police were hoping to acquire the key to the Manor in order to investigate, but the location of the key was known only by Mr. Cheesham himself. Munich television stars have already come forward to pay tribute to Miss Taylor. So it becomes increasingly apparent that <laughs> disappeared. <laughs> Something tells me there wouldn't be even that much, even be that much coverage, ain't coverage, if there wasn't a celebrity involved. And the percentage of Americans in the prison system has doubled since 1985. They're gonna put a prison, they're gonna put a prison, they're gonna put a prison for you and me living. And the bell jar broke with the idol in it. I really, this is, this is, I will not, hang on, what are these little stains? Day four! Dum! Oh yeah. Oh god. Here we go. Sorry. To put the speaker there, so the last segment would have been like that. So, Father, why? He said, Oh God, my head. What? What the hell happened last night? I remember. Oh God, Philip. Did I kill Philip? I don't remember anything. Last thing I remember is putting my hand on that idol. I've got to warn the others. So, yeah. It's locked. God knows where they found the key. And uh, they've taken away everything except the book and the teddy. And the teddy's not really much use to us. So uh, let's look out the window. I can see my car from here. Well, how about let's talk to the window? Yeah. Hello? Is there anyone out there? Quiet. Simone? Is that you? Yes, I'm keeping guard. Why? Shut up! You killed Philip! Don't even try to deny it! I did? Don't play games with me. I'm keeping guard here until the police get into the grounds. Then I'm handing you over. Okay, just gonna pause. Okay, so now I'm gonna talk to the window again, to see if Simone's still there. Simone, what do you want now? You're making a terrible mistake. Oh, am I? Why is that? The real killer's still on the loose. Oh, sure, I suppose they knock you out. Dress you in their clothes. Put the machete in your hand. And cleverly hid while we discovered you. Something like that. Oh, please. Okay, I can't remember the exact path. Okay. Where's Jim? Why do you want to know? So you can track him down and kill him? He knows that I'm innocent. Does he? He almost hacked him to pieces with a machete. I think he'll have taken that into consideration. No, that's not it. But I know... Okay, where's Jim? Why do you want to know? So you can drag him down and kill him? You could be in terrible danger. 
I know. Until the police have you handcuffed, we all are. Okay. Okay, that's not right. Okay, okay, I think it's this one. Let me see. First gym and another attack with a huge guy in a welding mask and open with a machete and managed to get away. Then we come into the kitchen and find a huge guy in a welding mask and ape and unconscious next to Philip's co corpse. And then we look, take the mask off and, uh, and behold, look, you got it all wrong. Oh, really? Well, then let's hear your version. I was possessed by the ghost. Oh, no, that impresses me. Do you think of that all by yourself? It's the truth, I swear. Shut up. Just shut up. It possessed me just like it did when I killed AJ. What are you talking about now? The ghost. It talks to me late at night when no one else can hear. Trying to make me do things. Evil things. Shut up. It never leaves me alone. I can't sleep. Then I have the blackouts. Then I wake up with blood all over me in an unfamiliar place. It's happened so many times now that I can't count them. Shut up. Kill AJ. Kill Philip. Kill everyone. It wouldn't leave me alone. I'm warning you. I'm delirious with guilt most of the time. I can see the face of every poor innocent I've killed every time I close my eyes. Most evenings I cry so hard I vomit several times. Sometimes I just want this nightmare to end. If death came right now, I'd welcome it. Oh God. Simone, let me have my tie back. Your tie, please. Oh, to hell with it. Have it, you psycho. Anyway, yeah, Mr. Chorby thinking ahead, yeah. I'll just slip it on. And here's my emergency lockpick. See, this demonstrates the importance of thought, forethought, which I can't say. So let's open the door. It's locked. God knows where the front key. Use the lockpick on the door. There you go, unlocked. Go outside. Where's Simone got to now? I've got to get her and Jim to believe me about the idol. Yep, that's Philip's dead body. Which is a bit scary. Okay. Right, now this bit. Before you do anything, go outside the bathroom and save. Now I'm going to save it on my practice run so that just in case I have to record the segment again, let's open the door. No one in here either. Where the hell is everyone? Trilby! Simone, before you say anything, I know you didn't really kill Philip or AJ. You do? I figured you were lying to get me away from the shed. I saw him again. Who? The killer. The guy in the welding mask. I spotted him downstairs, but he didn't see me. And I can't find Jim anywhere. Simone, you have to listen to me. The ghost. Oh, shut up about your ghost. This isn't a ghost, it's a regular flesh and blood psycho. Speak of the devil. Eee! Okay. So now when it's on the rug, pull the rug. Oh my god, Jim. Day five. How is he? He's awake, he's fine. Doesn't remember anything, just like I didn't. Look, I only sort of half believe this possession thing right now. But in the absence of a better suggestion, I guess I'm going along with it. 
have you been going over those books I was carrying? Yes, and some text on the occult. Apparently, if you want to destroy this thing, you have to get its spirit back to its old body. That'll make it quasi mortal. It'd still be dangerous, but not unkillable. We'll have to find the body first. And to do that, we have to know who the ghost is. I've been thinking about this, and I have a fairly workable theory. So, yeah, I have a couple of ideas about it myself. Right. Well, the ghost is disappearing is something to do to her, right? Death and disappearing started all started after that. Agreed. So, what do you think? So, we're gonna tell Simone what we think next time on Let's Play Five Days a Stranger. See you then.